Don't be scared, guys. Uh, let me get some more light. Uh, hey, guys, what's up? What's going on? I'm sorry. <laughs> They're weird, guys. These, these random vlogs, okay? There's one thing that you guys have to be wary about whenever you watch a random vlog from me. Shut up, airplanes. Um, they're, they're weird. They get weird. It's, it's no surprise or anything, okay? They're pretty odd. <laughs> anyway, guys, what's up? How you guys doing? What's going on? It is Autobot Mike 18 here, back with another, uh, random vlog. Guys, this is gonna be random vlog number 9. Holy crap, we're almost on 10. When I get to 10, I gotta throw a party or something, okay? Guys... I got some stuff to talk about in this one, okay? I, um, yeah, I, I have a few different things. I want to, of course, guys, my random vlogs, yes, I know I'm in my car right now. I'm, I'm not at home, though. I am at school in my, uh, in the parking lot. I, uh, just finished the day. Well, it's, it's 1030 at night right now, but, yeah, I, uh, had things to do after class and whatnot. I, I had to audition someone for a film, the final film that I have to direct for this semester. The semester is almost over for me, guys. There's the, almost uh, a little less than three weeks left, and then uh, we're done, and I'm on winter break, which is awesome. I can't wait for that, in all honesty. I need that winter break so damn bad. Um, but, yeah, I... Um I am, so yeah, that, that, my day was class, I had to audition somebody for the next film I'm doing, which is an adaptation of Easy A. I'm doing the, I'm doing the fake, uh, sex scene, uh, from Easy A, uh, when they were in there at the party, uh, Emma Stone's character, um, and, uh, the Brandon character. I, I can't wait to film it, honestly, I, I want to do a really good job on it, but, so I'm in the middle of casting that. And then later on today, I went to a screening that was hosted by uh, the uh, conservatory, my, my film conservatory, um, or like the faculty. Um, they showed a 2015 um, foreign language film called um, Mediterranea, uh, directed by Jonas Camp Campignano. I, I suck at names, okay? Campignano. Okay, is what I'm going to go with right now. That's obviously wrong. I'm going on Wikipedia to just justify me trying to... Ah, Carpignano. Carpignano, okay? Uh, Carpignano, okay? I'm Italian myself, and I can't say this guy's last name. That's sad. Um, but yeah, I... One thing, I, I feel really bad because I kind of... Uh, fell asleep during some of the movie. It's not because it was bad. Um, I loved what I saw of the movie. Honestly, I, I'm pissed off at myself that I fell asleep. I, I've just been so... I've been up late the last two days. One night I was up till 6 in the morning. Last night I was up till 3 in the morning. Here, here at school, okay? And then I just came home. So, it's been rough for me. I, I've been tired all day and I was just watching the movie in a really warm room So I just kind of nodded off guys, but let me know down below Have you guys fall, do you guys fall asleep during movies? And it's not because the movies are bad or you don't like what's going on in the movie or they're boring Is it just because of fatigue has that ever happened to you guys because it happens to me too much It's happened to me a few times this year not just with this film I watched but yeah, I mean and the filmmaker himself was there at the screening um, he wasn't in the room with us watching it, but he just won, uh, Breakthrough Director Awards at the National Board of Review, which is going to be my topic for this video. I want to talk about, um, towards the end, critic circles and upcoming award season, okay? Because we're getting into that award season. I'm getting excited. I love award season, even though it gets me really angry, uh, but I love the competition. I just love everything about it for the most part, so I really can't wait. Um, so what I'm going to do, but yeah, I, I was, I was, um... In the screening and I nodded off a couple times sorry but what I've seen in the movie it was really really good and effective and I really enjoyed it and I, I honestly want to watch it again anyway um, so yeah I, I just wanted to make that I, I just wanted to know have you guys ever fallen asleep during a movie um, and if you have let me know like is that frustrating because it's so frustrating for me because I love movies as you guys can tell. Uh, anyway, so what I want to do in the beginning of this random vlog, I want to give shout outs to everybody who left comments on random vlog number eight, which was my Black Friday uh, review and unboxing. Uh, review and unboxing, my Black Friday Blu ray haul, um, which by the way has over 500 views right now and 31 likes 
and 14 different comments. Thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate 32 likes. I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to give shout outs to everybody. And then right after I do that, I'm literally going to talk about breaking news in regards to award season. Yesterday was December 1st. It's December 2nd today. I'm filming this. December 1st, they released the National Board of Review picks for the best of the year. And today, they released the. Um, the New York uh, film critics choices. So I really want to get into my thoughts on all those. So real quick, let me just give shout outs to everybody who left a comment on my Black Friday Blu-ray haul. First up, we got um, Charlie Richstone, uh, who said I had a great haul, uh, listed everything he got. He got a lot of cool stuff. San Andreas, he got probably the best deal. Orange is the New Black, season uh, season one and two on Blu-ray for uh, $10 each, or $10 in total, I mean. Uh, which is an amazing deal. Um, thanks so much for coming and always, Charlie. I really appreciate it. And thanks for leaving me your haul as well. Um, and then Jim uh, 7339KI3456 said, Great Black Friday pickups. He commented on, on Charlie's comment. Um, I got a new comment four hours ago. This is Don. Nice pickups. Uh, I ordered American Sniper from Best Buy, but sadly didn't come with a slip cover. Cried myself to sleep. I'm sorry, man. That's why I, I always try to, especially when it's Black Friday and they have those movies on, on sale, I always try to um, go into the store to buy them because I want the slip covers. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you order, like, say, off Amazon, like, say you ordered Jurassic, Jurassic World for $10 on Black Friday off of Amazon, they're most likely not going to send you the slipcover. I don't know why, but it, it's just like that. Um, IDGF999 uh, said I had some good films there, and he said Synecdoche, New York is a tough watch. I know. I've heard that. I actually asked around after I saw your comment, and uh, a few people said, yeah, it's not it's not an easy watch, but I, I do want to I do want to watch it nevertheless because I bought it. Um, and he recommended Romancing the Stone and The Usual Suspects. Haven't seen either of those, but I do want to see Usual Suspects uh, very much so. Um, old, channel, old Channel Parker Smichael. Parker, I know you, man. You're always commenting. Thanks so much. Uh, great video, man. Great pickups. He got the Dark Knight Steelbook. Ape, Dawn on the Planet of the Apes on Blu-ray. And T2 Judgment Day on DVD. Awesome. Uh, awesome anime fan, Ghost Hunter 624 said he rented Pixels and the new Star Wars game from Redbox on Black Friday. Um, awesome. I want to play Battlefront. I'm not into video games. My brother literally just got a PS4, um, and he's younger than me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just not into video games. But if I had to play a video game, I, if he, I'm, I'm begging him to buy Battlefront because it looks so damn good. I would totally play that. Um, so yeah, uh, Chandler Bohannon, one of my good subscribers who's always leaving comments. Thanks so much, Chandler. Um, he got a concert ticket and half off a Comic Con ticket. Awesome, man. Um, and he loves American Sniper. He, he loves 500 Days of Summer. I can't wait to watch it. And he recommended Sw Sweeney Todd. Awesome. I can't wait to watch that. He's like, now just get Sweeney Todd and message me the second you watch that amazing fucked up movie. Will do, man. Um, heist everything. Thanks, as always, for commenting on my stuff, man. Uh, he got a bunch of digital downloads for filmmaking. Um, Horror SVX, Writing 101. That sounds awesome, man. Really nice. Um, he also loved my haul and talked about American Sniper. Uh, Logan Edgemon uh, said I had a great Blu-ray haul, and he also compared Black Friday to The Hunger Games. He said, glad you were a victor. You're so right, man. You've never been more right. Uh, Sahil Kapur said, inside out with an exclamation point. Yeah, Inside Out's great. <laughs> no, I. if you were wondering why I didn't buy it, I already own it. Um, I bought it when it came out on Blu-ray. Um, and then Blu-ray Evan said, great pickups. Thanks so much, Evan, for always commenting on my videos. You're, you're awesome. And then finally, Eric MacArthur, who's been asking for a shout-out uh, for a long time, said, I would like a shout-out from you, Mike. If you get Tattoo on Blu-ray when it comes out in December, can you give me a shout-out when you get it? Thanks so much. Uh, here's your shout-out, Eric. Um, thank you for always following my videos and uh, hitting me up on Twitter. But um, I, I don't think I'm going to get Ted 2. I, I wasn't a, a huge, huge fan. I don't really want to own it. But uh, thanks, as always, for commenting uh, and uh, hitting me up on Twitter and messaging me. Um, one thing, guys, if I... If there's ever a message you send me, or, like, I know my comments, when you comment on my videos, like, I haven't been answering them 
in a while. I know um, it's just because I've been so busy. It's not because I'm ignoring you guys. I just want to stress that. It's because I'm just really, really busy with school. When I go on winter break in two weeks, I am literally going to sit down one night and just reply to every single comment that I've left unanswered for the last two and a half months. I really am really sorry about that, but it's just me being busy. Um, so just realize that if there's ever a message you send me on Twitter or Facebook or a comment on YouTube, know that I um, am not ignoring you if I don't answer for months or for weeks. Um, it's just I'm super busy. Okay, so thanks to everyone who left me comments on that video. I just had to give you all shout outs. Um, it is uh, 1042. Let's get into what I want to talk about. I've got a cup of water in my hand. Let's get a sip right now because water makes everything better. I literally have my dinner in a bag, okay? I went to the food court right before I went, uh, came to my car to film this. I got a giant, not giant, I got a small Italian combo uh, sandwich. This is, this is my dinner, okay? This is a college student's dinner, guys. This is, this is what we, we eat. And I got a bag of chips. You know what? I'm having a chip right now. Homemade chips from my food court. They're not that great. But what do you, uh, what am I gonna do, star? Well, I'm eating a chip right now, why not? Mmm, now that is a tasty chip. I try quoting Pulp Fiction, I don't know why. Anyway guys, so let's get to the point of the video that I've been wanting to talk about, and that is of course Black Friday. Black Friday? No. Last random vlog. That was Black Friday. This random vlog, award season. Guys, we've had the first two big um, uh, award season uh, updates. And as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of award season. I love following and all that. And we had the unveiling of the National Board of Review picks for the best of the of film in the year. And we also had um, New York's Critics' Choice um release their picks for their their best of the year. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on their picks really quickly. Um, and I, 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 I like following award season. I want to try to do it in my random vlogs this semester, or this semester, uh, for the for the next couple weeks, whenever I do a random vlog until Oscar season, of course, for the next couple months, I should say, um, just to talk about it here or there. And at the end of this video, I'm going to ask you guys uh, for uh, uh, to leave me a comment um, regarding award season and stuff. But anyway, um, so let's go National Board of Review winners. First off, what took home the biggest prize, this is one of the biggest surprises I could have ever imagined. I was beyond shocked that this film won Best Film. It is for sure one of my favorite movies of this year. It's in my top five right now. I didn't love it at first when I first saw it. I gave it like a B, but I've since watched it a second time, and I absolutely love this movie. But Mad Max Fury Road won Best Film, or it was awarded Best Film from the National Board of Review. That is freaking amazing, guys. I That's amazing. Okay, that's unbelievably good. Um, for Mad Max Fury Road. It's an action movie, okay? Set, it's basically one entire uh, car chase, okay, in the desert. One long chase sequence in the desert, and it's still a great movie. And this could open doors, guys. If this movie gets Oscar love, forget about it, okay? It could change the game of the Oscars. So I am beyond happy that Fury Road got it. It is a great movie, for sure. Um, now what took home a lot at the, but yeah, I just had to make that. What do you guys think of Fury Road getting best film? Okay. Do you think that's amazing? Are you guys happy with it? Are you not happy with it? Let me know down below. Um, we had a lot of Martian winning a lot and I enjoyed the Martian. I gave it like an A minus. I didn't, I, I don't think though it won best director. I don't think it's the best directed film in this year and it won best actor for Matt Damon. I do not think Matt Damon gave the best performance of the year. That easily, Johnny Depp, easily one of the best performances I've seen this year. Totally should have gotten more recognition over Matt Damon. Okay, Matt Damon is great in The Martian, but Johnny Depp, man. Um, even, like, Mark Ruffalo is great in Spotlight, okay? Let, um, Jacob Tremblay, who did win something, even should have won. Um, we had Brie Larson win Best Actress for Room. My favorite female performance of this year so far. Utterly well-deserved. Sylvester Stallone won Best Supporting Act for Creed. I can't, that makes me want to see Creed all the much more. I literally can't wait to see that. And the reason why I haven't seen it, guys, quick update. 
I have not seen Creed yet. I watched Good Dinosaur instead because Creed is sort of like a, a another film in the Rocky universe. I have not seen a Rocky film yet. <gasps> Mike, what the hell is wrong with you? What the fuck? Um, no, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch a, I'm gonna watch the first Rocky as soon as I can, and then I'm gonna try to watch Creed in the next three weeks. Hopefully, it won't come out of theaters. I hope to God it won't. Um, I really want to see it though because I love Ryan Coogler and Michael B. Jordan for Fruitvale Station, so I can't wait. Um, Jennifer Jason Lee won Best Supporting Actress for The Hateful Eight, and Quentin Tarantino won Best Original Screenplay for The Hateful Eight. Can't wait to see it. Um, Drew Goddard won Best Adapted Script for The Martian. Eh, Room. Um, what else was adapted this year? There's another thing I can't think of off the top of my head, and I don't want to drag this out. Uh, Martian was good, though. It had a great script. You know what? Of all the things that it won, I would have given it script over anything. Um, best director and, and actor, I don't know. Um, best animated feature went to Inside Out. Hands down, easily the best by far. Um, breakthrough performance went to Abraham Ada for Beasts of No Nation and Jacob Tremblay for Room. So happy Jacob Tremblay won for Room. Excellent breakthrough performance. Best directorial debut went to Jonas Carpignano for Mediterranean, what I watched uh, tonight, which is great. The movie was very well directed from what I've seen of it. Sorry, Jonas. I'm sorry. Best doc went to Amy. Great doc. Uh, best foreign language film went to Son of Saul. I haven't seen it. Uh, best Ensemble went to The Big Short. Could have sworn that would have gone to uh, Spotlight, but oh well. Sicario won the best spot, the Spotlight Award for Outstanding Collaborative Vision. Love it. Love Sicario. Top films, the top ten lists were Bridge of Spies, Creed, The Hateful Eight, Inside Out, The Martian, Room, Sicario, Spotlight, Straight Out of Compton. Love that list. Have not seen Hateful Eight or Creed yet, but I can't wait. Uh, Martian is good. I would have put something else in there. Spotlight Sicario, though, and Room. Oh, my God, so good. Inside Out, Bridge of Spies, love them. Straight Out of Compton as well, very good. Uh, my battery's about to die, guys, so i got to wrap it up. Top five foreign language films, Good Night, Mommy, Mediterranean is the only one I've seen. Uh, top five docs. Amy did not make top five docs for some reason, um, even though it won best doc. Top ten indie films. Uh, Ex Machina, It Follows, made it in. Thank God. Two of my favorite movies this year. So happy. Uh, so that was the National Board Review. And then the New York Film Critics, guys. Uh, for the most part, that movie, Carol, swept mostly everything, including best picture, best director for Todd Haynes, best screenplay. Um... And best cinematography, and that's it. So I, I, I automatically can't wait to see Carol now. And then uh, best actress went to Searsha Sear, Ronan for Brooklyn. Don't know how to say her name. Michael Keaton for Spotlight won best actor. I don't think he was a lead, but whatever. Best supporting actress went to Kristen Stewart for Clouds of Sills Maria. Have not seen that yet. And Mark Rylance won best supporting actor for Bridge of Spies. I'm so happy that. Jacob Tremblay is my favorite supporting actor performance of this year. Mark Rylance is probably my second favorite. I love that performance. Excellent. Inside Out also won Best Animated Film. So well deserved, of course. And Tim Buck 2 won Best Foreign Language Film, which I have not seen. So, there you go. So right now, Carol and The Martian are looking pretty good right now for Oscars. Um, as well as Room and uh, Spotlight, of course. Um getting a lot of uh, noms here or there, getting a lot of picks for everything. I'm really happy. I have two-minute battery life left, so I'm going to wrap this vlog up right now, guys. Um, so there you have it, guys. Closing out this vlog, with all that taken into consideration, what do you guys think of these picks for the New York Critics' Choice and the National Board of Review? Uh, so two questions. What do you think of the picks down below? What do you think of Mad Max Fury Road winning Best Film, Biggest Surprise? And also, what are your hopes for Oscar season or for award season in general. And I mean hopes, not predictions. When I say hope, I mean what do you want? What do you personally want to see win or get nominated? Not what you predict is going to win. Like you could say, oh, I want to see Fury 7 get nominated. That doesn't, obviously, it's not going to get nominated. Okay, so leave me your Oscar hopes, early Oscar hopes down below. I will give you a shout out in my next random vlog, random vlog number nine or random vlog number 10. That's going to be 10. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. My battery is about to die. Guys, I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Uh, later, guys. Bye.